Hello and welcome to the 105th edition of Marix Maritime News. The headlines on Monday, 14th of February 2022. India's first water metro ferry begins a service. Coffee prices soar amid tight supplies. Will including shipping in EU's carbon trading system speed up decarbonization? Ship owners get busy in new building and SNP markets. Interdisciplinary task force formed to deal with shipping crisis in India. Kochi, Kerala has become India's first city to have a water metro project after the launch of its first boat in December 2021 named Muziris. The first of the 23 fully air-conditioned, battery-powered electric ferries of the Kochi Water Metro project was handed over by Cochin Shipyard Limited to Kochi Metro Rail Limited. It is designed for 10 knot speed and lithium titanate oxide batteries are used. The climate-friendly integrated water transport initiative is to improve water wave connectivity with a total of 78 ferries linking 38 terminals located over 76 kilometers. Coffee futures reached the highest in 10 years in New York amid mounting concerns over tight supplies and space aboard ships. Environmental campaigners say efforts by the industry to cut emissions are too slow and that including shipping in the European Union emissions trading system will speed up decarbonization. European Union's proposal to include shipping may be a positive step for decarbonization of shipping, but this proposal must be negotiated by the European countries before it becomes a law. There could be significant implications too for ships failing to comply with these new measures, including denial entry to the European ports by non-compliant ships. So it is not clear that who is going to bear the costs like buying carbon prints, whether it's going to be the ship owner or the charter. And in my opinion, the efforts by the industry to cut the emissions are moving very slowly and they need to be expedited so that there will be no requirement to include shipping in the European Union emission trading. Further, the greenhouse gas emissions which are there, that statutory needs definitely to be revised for finalization before the year 2023 if the European Unions want to meet the net zero target by year 2050. Ship owners have been rather active at both ends of the market, that is the new building and the S&P part. As a report stated that the relatively good orbit in the new building market continued for yet another week with a modest flow of projects being pushed forward as of late. With inflation running rampant, central banks across the world are gradually increasing official interest rates as a method to combat runaway inflation. Even with the recent small increases in interest rates, with the Bank of England moving official rates from 0.1% up to 0.25% in December 2021 and then 0.5% in February 2022, interest rates remain at the historically low levels that have become the norm since the financial crisis over a decade ago. Further rises in interest rates will see the overall cost of borrowing increasing. 
which can help to put the brakes on investment within the shipping market. Higher interest rates will also add a further barrier at the same time as stringent environmental regulations, propulsion questions and limited yard space are also weighing on the potential for new orders, particularly in markets experiencing challenging conditions such as tankers. New building prices have the potential to be impacted as well. In order to deal with the crisis in freight shipping on account of the global container shortage, the government has formed an interdisciplinary task force which is taking coordinated action on identified tracks including pressing additional shipping and container capacity into service and enhanced import of empty containers by shipping lines. The Minister of Ports, Shipping and Waterways, Mr. Sarbananda Sona will inform. Regular interaction with the shipping lines and their association has resulted in increasing the availability of the number of empty imported containers. So far, 1.84 million 20-foot equivalent unit have been repositioned by shipping lines, Mr. Sonabil said. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you for watching. See you next Monday.